make sure your microphones are on. I think they're all on. No worries. All right, this one's on. Testing, testing. Hello. There we go. You see the little green button. Should be on. All right, welcome everyone inside the Media Center here at the Honda LPGA Thailand. I'm pleased to be joined by defending champion Lilia Vu, Ronin Yin, Celine Boutier, and Charlie Hull. I'll kick things off with a few questions. If you have any questions out here, please just make sure to raise your hand and I'll be sure to call on you. Um, and I'm sure they'll be able to pass a microphone around to you to ask your questions. Um, I'm gonna start off with at least one question for everyone here at the dais and then we'll open it up. Um, I'll start here with the defending champion. Lilia, it's great to have you back here. What does it feel like coming back to the site of your first victory of 2023? Yeah, um, there we go. Hello. Yeah, it was very nostalgic to be back here. Um, yeah, the course was looking beautiful. I came here on Saturday kind of early, but overall, really cool to experience it all over again. What's it like seeing your face, your name everywhere? I mean, I'll ever get used to, it, but it's definitely cool to see all the graphics they had from last year. Ronnie, this is your first appearance here at the Honda LPJ Thailand. What have you been most looking forward to at this event? Um, I had a, I, I played to practice round yesterday and a Monday. I think um, this course suits me very well, and I think for me, just um, um, if I can judge the wing well and uh, make uh, just hit my ball to where I want to land, I think I'll, I'll shoot a good score. I know you took a little bit of time off um, after the couple starts on the LPGA, you went back home for a little bit. When you're able to go back home and kind of reset, what does that do for you heading into the Asia swing? Um, I, I didn't touch my club for two weeks and just uh, enjoy home, enjoying the Chinese New Year with my families. I think that's, um, that's um, good for me, and it just make me fresh for the Asian swings. Celine, in the last two years, you have recorded top four, top four finishes here at the Honda LPGA Thailand. What is it about this area, this course, this event that really suits your game at the beginning of the season? Um, I'm not sure. I definitely feel like my game has been uh, better and better each year after I've come and definitely had some uh, good finishes the last two years. So it's definitely a lot of good memories coming back. And uh, yeah, very looking forward to uh, competing again this week. And then for you, Charlie, you're coming off a T3 finish uh, last week on the LET and a top 10 finish at the beginning of the year on the LPGA Tour. How comfortable do you feel in your game and have you felt Yeah, like I put some good work in on the off season and I've kind of just been playing golf and that with my friends at home. So I'm just out here playing golf with my golfing friends. So that's how I kind of see it. Just kind of my game feels nice and warm and I'm looking forward to this week. Is that something that you usually do during the off season? Just kind of play with friends? I know a lot of competitive golfers. Yeah, 100%. Like, you don't usually do that. Yeah, I do. Like, I prefer hands down playing friend golf with my friends at home than I do on tour. Like just having a laugh with my friends. So it's not really work to me. It's just going out there, having fun. All right, I'll open it up um, if anyone wants to raise their hand in here to ask some questions. Oh, I think that was my second time coming to Thailand. I, I came to Thailand when I was probably 10 with my mom for just a vacation. And uh, 2018 was my second time coming to Thailand. And I definitely um, love to play the Queen's, uh, Queen Cup. And uh, I couldn't really remember about the details, but I definitely enjoyed it. Um, yeah, obviously, like, Saudi was a lot more drier, like a dry heat, where over here it's, like, very humid, so 
there's some places in America that are quite humid, so the golf courses are kind of similar, but this golf course kind of stops. In the morning, you get quite a bit of dew on the green, so I find the ball in the morning doesn't go quite as far as it does in the afternoon. But all in all, like, you can attack the pins here, um, and I enjoy the golf course. Training, making small improvements each day. You know, as you, I know you took a little kind of mini break after drive on. Um, after drive on, what have you been concentrating on and working on recently on those kind of small improvements? For me, during the off season, I think I got a little rusty with ball striking. So the past three weeks, I've been just trying to hit the ball more solid and protecting the ball a little more. I mean, that's a little more on the technical side, but that's what I've been doing the past three weeks. Feel a lot better about it. Is that just practicing at home, or is that more of a, you know, when you get back out here, that's the focus? Kind of both. I think, for me, what's most productive is when I'm at home playing golf. Practicing for a couple hours on end doesn't really do much for me. I'm much better on the course, so that's what I've been focusing on. What did you take away from the last two, the first two events of the LPGA Tour season? This year? and what I've kind of neglected in my own game. So I think that was kind of a bit of a wake-up call for me, but definitely needed to happen. Ronnie, for you coming into this Asia swing, you're coming back to this Asia swing, to Thailand and to Singapore and whatnot, and Hubei, as a major champion, as an LPJ Tour winner. Does it feel different entering this season than entering last season? Um, I kind of... Consider this season is my first full season because I didn't play the Asian Swing last year, and uh, um, I kind of, you know, just uh, try to um, know the course and for the first time, um, it's it's a little bit different at play as a major champion and doing the press conference, and <laughs> um, I think um, it just. Uh, it's, it's just kind of a um, motivation for me to play better. She has a runoff at 11, so it's no biggie. Um, Jessica, what have you been doing for you? What have the last couple of weeks been like following the Drive On Championship? What have you kind of been focused on in your performance and knowing that you're coming back to a place that you've had good results at before? Um, for me, it was a lot. Uh, focus on the long game. I feel like uh, drive on was a good week for me to evaluate my game and definitely try to assess uh, what I need to focus more on. And uh, I feel like my short game was pretty solid that week, but I just wasn't able to hit it close enough. So I definitely focused a little bit more on the uh, on the long game the last few weeks. Yeah, I mean, it's so special, right? My first win, it just all started here. I remember how much fun I had last year off the golf course, just even just running across the street to go eat with my parents and friends. And I just always had a good time. I think that's why I played so well last year. So looking forward to doing that again this year. Behind. I mean, I think we have five already. I think it would be kind of cool to add one, but I don't know if that would make it too, you know, busy around the season. I think we kind of all plan our schedule around those five events and try to manage our time and kind of see if get the right time. Um, so I think we're going to have five events in the next two years.
Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think that uh, golf in Asia is uh, growing year after year, and there's so much interest and so many fans. Uh, so I feel like it would definitely be amazing to have a major. Uh, at the same time, I also feel like five majors is already a lot. I mean, the men only have four, so uh, I feel like we're very lucky to have five. If uh, Again, if there's another opportunity to have another one in, ma in Asia, I feel like it would make sense. Um, but I also really, you know, like the schedule as it is now, personally. So I don't know. We'll see how um, the future goes. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like uh, five majors is a it's a lot, especially this year is Olympic year, and make kind of six majors. But I definitely would love to see uh, we have another majors in Asia, for sure. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> Bouncing off that answer, Ronnie, um, Lilia, you come into this week as not only the top player in the world, but the top player on the Olympic golf ranking. Um, we're getting into this Asia swing of events is three in a row, and then we get right back at it domestically. What does it mean to kind of start off this Olympic year kind of rolling well at this Asia swing of events as it pertains to the Olympics on the horizon? I feel like it's very beneficial for us to start in Asia with cuts, invitationals, no cut. I think that gives us a lot of confidence to see where our game's at and just reflect and kind of play our game and hopefully play well and not think about it too much. I think if we kind of stay in our own rhythm of just playing one minute at a time, it'll kind of just solve itself. Um, yeah, it was definitely a one-of-a-kind experience. I feel like I, w I wasn't really sure where I was standing after I finished because I was a couple of groups ahead of the uh, last group, so I was still waiting, and then uh, Taya made the birdie on the last to go in the playoff, so it was definitely nerve-wracking. Then the weather delay kind of happened, so I wasn't even sure if we were going to be able to go back out at all because all the afternoons until evenings was normally just storms. Uh, but thankfully, we had a window of time that we were able to get in. Uh, but yeah, then the, I was just trying to focus on, you know, making a birdie on 18, which was the par five, um, because I knew she was longer and all that. But um, yeah, it just kept dragging hole after hole. I think after the third hole, I kind of lost count. Uh, and also because it, it kept being the same two holes, so I didn't even know how many holes it had been. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really a fun experience. I think I had a few opportunities at first few holes, and I didn't make it, and then she had a few opportunities, uh, and then I ended up making the final putt and definitely relief and very grateful that we were able to finish that day. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely a marathon. When you think about kind of the tournament as a whole, I know you talked a little bit about how much it means to you after the win last year. When you think about the final day specifically, what do you remember most? Um, what were the emotions that you had? And what did it feel like to get that first win under your belt? I think the thing that stood out to me the most last year was the crowd. Just seeing how many people came out to kind of support us and watch us. I think that actually helped me on the final day. I think it being under pressure almost, just going out there and having nothing to lose and trying to help. And he says I could. That's something that I remember most about the final day. Ronnie, I know it's your first time here at this event, but have you been able to take in any of the kind of extra off the course um, food? Have you been able to try any of the local cuisine? Have you gone anywhere, hung out with anyone that's helped you try the local cuisine? Um... I went, I went with Pajeri on Monday. She, she took us to a, um, a Thai restaurant. That was amazing. That, that, that's the, I told her that's the best Thai food I've ever had. So thank you, Pajeri. Mango, mango sticky rice, my favorite. <laughs> and then Celine, of all of us, including myself here, you have been here the most. And so when I ask is, 
from the first time that you came here, you've been preparing for this week. What has it been like to see the growth of an event like this in Thailand? And what does that mean to you? Um, yeah, I feel like the tournament's been growing year after year. And again, the amount of people that show up um, year after year is, it just keeps growing. So it's just unbelievable uh, just to see the interest. And um, uh, I think the fans here are also really nice. They're very positive and very cheerful. So it's always a good experience. Uh, personally, I, this tournament means a lot. My parents are from here, so we used to come uh, every summer when I was younger. So definitely, you know, uh, means a lot, and uh, I hope to play well again this year. Are your parents here this week? Yes. A reunion of sorts. All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and good luck this week.